Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to do some battle mode shenanigans. We have the balloon battle going on. We have my me going into a car or a bike or something. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And it, in battle modes, you don't really have to choose between these two. It doesn't really matter all that much because it's not like it's a race or anything. You're you're dodging other people's projectiles to save yourself while shooting at other people from the opposing team. Anyways, at this point in the walkthrough, it's not really so much a walkthrough anymore as it is just for the fun of it now because, well, walkthroughs are always just for the fun of it to begin with, but I mean, I would just like to show off these stages for the heck of it. Just because I can, just because it'll be kind of awesome to watch things, and, or at least I think it'll be fun to watch it. Anyway, here we go, I am red team, they are blue team, evidently. So let's get this sucker started, and hopefully we'll be able to win. The objective is to kill off all the opponent's balloons on their side, and in turn the players. Once a person's three balloons get popped, they lose. Well, well that sucked on my end. <laughs> Uh, that's basically all there is to Balloon Battle. It is the most classic of all Mario Kart themed battle park thingies, anyway. And I believe you can steal balloons if you run into them with a mushroom as well. And you also notice that some uh, things are in uh, different color. Like, did you see that red glow around that banana peel? That means it's a teammate's banana, which means that you can't run over the banana and get spun out and lose a banana, or lose a balloon yourself, excuse me. Anyway, I got a red shell, this is gonna be awesome, so I need to find someone in blue. Hey, blue person, ow. <laughs> uh, blue person, ow. Curses, I am not doing well. I've only got one balloon left and I feel like I'm gonna die. I should probably stay on the upper tracks if possible, if at all possible, but I think they eventually sink in as you go. If I'm not mistaken, so that might not be a good thing. I'm just gonna let. Oh, poopers! I'm down. All right, yep. Is that gonna instantly end the the thing? Oh no, it just puts me back on here. Well, that works for me, I guess. Uh, only for the fact that I'm three points down. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot how the Wii version of uh, Battle Mode plays. That's why I'm a little bit on the confused side here. But all I know is you gotta blow up the people in blue. <laughs> How else more simple can I put it? So, yeah. Anyway, uh, those statues also fall into the ground, if I'm not mistaken, through time as well. And appeals, they aren't all that useful. Well, I guess I could like, plop them across these bridges. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay on the higher routes here. It's a little bit safer, even though that we're kind of losing points anyway. Triple mushroom, triple mushroom. Let's see if I can steal a balloon. From someone. Where'd that blue person go? I thought I was gonna hit him off on the pass on the pass here. <laughs> um, ow. Uh, what about you, dry bones? Uh, drop your last banana. Oh, I missed you. Well, aha! You can steal balloons. Okay. I thought that was only gonna be the DS version. That I was gonna be. Whoa, boy! No, I was gonna be acting like I'm stupid there. <laughs> I thought this was the side that you go. You could go right through the middle of the. Uh, there's a gap. I think it's that yellow square at the bottom right corner there on the map. And all oh, blue poopers. Well, it's a blue balloon, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I still think... Whoa! That was a close one. I almost got him, but sadly I didn't. Close is not good enough. I'm still three points down and ten seconds to go. Maybe it can be turned around. Donkey Kong! Can this be turned around? Oh, it's 17 now. Come on! Yeah, this ain't gonna work, so... <laughs> I ended up losing this one. Well, I should say we ended up losing this one. Oh well. Oh. Next battle, here we go. <laughs> and I think it does calculate how many points each individual character is get as well, come to think of it too. See, I just don't play battle modes all that much, so yeah, that's why I don't know too much about them. Um, an interesting thing about the DS version of the battle mode, I played that one a crap ton though. And it's in the balloon battle, you have to blow up your own balloons by blowing into the microphone. But what makes that interesting is that you have to make yourself vulnerable by staying in one spot while you blow up the balloon. So in turn, that makes it so that, you know, you're a sitting duck for whatever character decides to want to hit you. And that makes the battles quite interesting, I have to say. Um, throughout this battle, this tide on the side here 
comes up over time and you can eventually you can drown in it lose balloons you get the idea um, and once so and so far through it into the battle you'll see that that bridge see that secondary area that's blocked off this right here with this bridge is you can't go up there right now obviously but later on you'll be able to do go right up there so yeah and that's really all there is to Delfino Plaza here, and I gotta say, Delfino Plaza brings a lot of bad memories back from the Super Mario Sunshine days. Oh, yes. Well, okay, maybe it wasn't so much the Super Mario Sunshine itself as it was that I took the game way, way, way too seriously from the very start, because I wanted to make something extraordinary with it. You know, the whole menu system thing and everything showing for each shine and stuff like that. Well, whatever any tiny thing went wrong, I would get a little bit ticked off about it. And that never happened to me before with any other walkthrough. Because every, every walkthrough has its ups and downs in some way, shape, or form. So, I don't know why that one of all sorts I took too seriously. But I did, but whatever. Oh, 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 you can also go down here. Once that bell rings, these gates open up. Uh, this will eventually be flooded a little bit later. You can see that grate over there. Just saying. But anyway, once you hear the bell ring, the bridge goes down, these gates open up. And I recommend that you move over to this area ASAP. Hey, Diddy Kong, have a red shell once I can find you. There we go. And yay! Happy days! Uh, we're doing decently this round, so this may turn into a good round, hopefully. This uh, three out of five match here, looking for a blue character. Turn around, turn around. The map is your friend, Dry Bones. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I went right over Dry Bones' head. Uh, if Dry Bones really has a head, it's more of like a s skull of sorts, not a full on head. Um, looking for more item boxes of happiness. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to win this one anyway, so this shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, Diddy Kong, I would like to knock you out, if at all possible, with my bomb -o. That ain't gonna work, man. Oh, you sh I should also mention that the explosions are also color-coded, if you didn't notice that. Like, uh, blue teams, blue explosions, red teams, red explosions. The red ones obviously look a little more, you know, natural than a blue explosion, but eh. <laughs> Woo! Celebratory backflip. Haha. <laughs> Ha ha, indeed, my me friend. I'm hoping to show all these uh, battle tracks here. I'll, I'll probably, what, it, what I'll do is I'll do the Wii stages in the balloon mode and then the um, retro stages in the coin mode. Anyway, Funky Stadium, here we go. The entrance to the stadium is pretty cool, I have to say. You start out with an awesome jump that you can't get back into. But it's still pretty neat how you enter the stage, since you can just like backflip, it's just like, you get the idea. It's a pretty nice, unique way to enter the place. And... Woohoo! And you'll notice that you also start the area with an enemy, for whatever reason. Probably because of the fact that, you know, you don't have any items at the time, so you could be right next to an enemy if you want to, for the heck of it. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to get up there, actually, but uh, I want to show this whole area in general, that's why I kind of want to get up there. So let me get the, myself an item, not a banana peel. Well, I guess banana peels help in their own way, maybe I'll be able to blindside somebody. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Give me an item box. Woohoo! And there's also jumps that crisscross around this area. This is, also, this is probably like the best track in the entire game for... Uh, battle mode. There's also tunnels. If you go, like, underneath... Oh, wait, it's not there. <laughs> uh, tunnel. Tunnel of Love right here. It's tunnels like this. You can kind of snipe people. Um, hello, Bowser. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, that works. It locked onto the wrong person. I was I was expecting it to lock on the Bowser, but it ended up going for the other one. So, so I almost got hit by my own shell, and that would have sucked. Well, actually, I don't think that would have done anything. Woo! Can I attack a Diddy with a green shell? Yeah! That is sharpshooting at its absolute finest. Uh, that's really all there is to the stage here, at least I think. Well, there, there's the outer side parts of the track as well. 
but I think that's really all there is to it. I recommend that you stay near the center, actually, most of the time, because when you're in the air like that, you can't be hit by anything. Well, most of anything, usually most of the time. Like, in these areas, there really isn't anything to, you know, pick up and shoot from a distance. So getting up to those high areas aren't really all that beneficial. Like, over here, there's a bunch of item boxes, and I really went off on that jump in the wrong direction. But that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the stadium. As I said, it's probably the best one in the game. Uh, come on, hit my bomb. Hit my bomb! Ah, oh, so close. I almost got the balls over there. The king of the Koopas would have been king no more. Though he's not really so much a king. He doesn't really do well at his job, I have to say. He's always failing in his wars, I have to say. I mean... He tries to kidnap Peach, doesn't go very well. Ugh. I don't, I don't recall any time Bowser has won, uh, unless he's on Mario's side, like say in Super Mario RPG, or when he didn't know he was on Mario's side, such as in uh, Mario and Luigi's uh, Bowser's Inside Story. You know that one. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, otherwise, well, I guess he could possibly win in like. Super Smash Brothers Melee and Brawl, maybe. <laughs> and that's it for this stage. It is now two to one. Maybe I'll be able to win this next battle and end this off. I hope so. That would be kind of cool. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be because then I would be able to show all five stages right away if I end up losing the next one. Chain Shop Wheel! Because you know, the final stage would then be the tiebreaker of sorts. Anyway, here we go. I gotta say, I don't think I'm helping all that much in these battles. <laughs> Maybe because I don't know the Wii battle arenas all that much. I don't know, but I, don't, I feel I'm not getting that many points from my teammates. And that makes me sad. Now, this is a lot like that uh, sweet battle arena in the uh, DS version. Only it's got this roulette-like treadmill thing and they've got the, these chomps around here instead of... Uh, those tart things, dessert things that uh, you can run into and it would put some goo onto the glass, like some frosting onto the glass, and I'm getting demolished by that chomp. Curses! <laughs> and there, what, this is, um, this is underwater? What? I didn't notice that before. Huh. I really didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool, I have to say, and I'm at one balloon already. That kind of sucks. <laughs> All because of that dang chomp. I'm not getting hit by anybody. Um, but like the Waluigi Stadium area, your best bet is to stay near the center of there, just to get your items and stay out of the range of other people's stuff. And oh no no, don't hit my shell! Oh my shells went bye bye. That makes my sad. That makes me very sad. It makes me a very sad me. Uh, it's safe to go around. Woo! That the stage is really really linear. It's just a very big circle, and that's all there, all there is to it. There's that star in the chomp, but that's pretty much it. There isn't any other surprises that I remember in this stage, unless there's going to be something that... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, there goes my balloon. I guess that's your surprise right there, is getting knocked over by a chomp. But that's your only one, man. That's your only one. I don't even think that star in the center rotates. <laughs> so you can pretty much just, like, do figure eight loops and just come towards the center at the exact same crossover section, you know, right here. And just grab yourself some items. I'm still looking for some blue characters here. Uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong! <laughs> Curses! Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty badly here. Uh, Bowser, 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 Bowser! No, 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 Bowser, I said. Curse Toad, no! <laughs> See, I'm just not helping out whatsoever, unless I'm helping out and I'm not knowing it, like, maybe when I plop down some banana peels, only I'm losing points for the simple fact I keep flopping into the dank chomp. Arrgh. Maybe I should stop flying out into space like, uh, oh boy, <laughs> like out of nowhere and I shouldn't have ran into that banana peel. Arrgh. That's hurting our team as well. And star power, Toad! Uh, can I blow up the chomp? Out of curiosity, can I blow up the chomp? Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 I can't do it. It curses, I can't even try blowing up the chomp. Donkey Kong, yeah! And I run into a fake item box. That was delightful. Our score is dwindling by the second. 
Oh, actually, the scores are pretty low in general in this game. Maybe this uh, is kind of a hard to score game or something like that. Well, it's a failure, and it looks like it's going to end up being a tiebreaker. Anyway. Oh. Wait, how the heck am I in tied for first place in points? How? Well, I'm first place on my team, but I mean tied for first place on the uh, uh, full-on standings, you know, if everyone was individual. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> Swamp Desert, final stage. Here we go. And the next part will be a coin battle, and that will pretty much be it for this walkthrough, I think. So, yeah! Here we go, it's a Swamp Desert. As you can see, there's quite the pull to that center there. I'm pretty sure if you end up into that center area, you automatically die. Well, not die, you you lose a balloon. You get the idea, but yeah. Uh, there's cactuses around here. I'm pretty sure they hurt, so... I, especially since you've got balloons that are easily punctured by... Oh, boy! By, uh, sharp, pointy objects, so... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I almost boosted myself right into that thing. Oh, and I forgot about that. It waves up and down as well once that swamp uh, pushes into the center there. You know, and it falls. So I guess that's a twist to this area as it throws you off. Otherwise, it's just another big circle, like the Chomp Playground or whatever the heck that was named. I forgot about what it was named already. Uh, banana peels? Oh, I was trying to get told there, but I didn't succeed in the least. Oh boy, um, if you ever play the DS version of these battle things, never, ever put the computer on the hard mode. Even if you're not playing on teams, the computers will always go after you. They always seem to go after you, and you get owned! I very, very rarely ever win anything on hard mode. Normal mode is probably the most balanced, easiest, way too easy. So stick with normal mode if you want to play battle mode in the DS version. And curses, I got knocked out. But don't worry, I am back into the race, even though this isn't so much a race as it is a battle arena of death. It's like a destruction car rally thingy, whatever you want to call it. I'm not so much a car guy, so I don't really follow such things. <laughs> anyway, where are the blue guys? There's a bunch of blue guys, and I missed horrendously. Oh, 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 oh. I think I am doing badly once again, but that's kind of my thing in this Mario Kart. <laughs> Yeah, I got myself an item. Can I get something? <laughs> I hit Donkey Kong, but that is not the case. No, wait, wait, banana, banana, oh, banana, oh, fana, failed. Oh, no, no, I don't think so, girlfriend. I don't think so. There's a lot of fake item boxes roaming around here, I have to say. <laughs> I just look at all of them up there. I think the only safe item boxes are the ones down here. Did someone get blown up by my bomb? No one? Oh, oh. Be that way. You be that way if you want to, I guess. I have no other choice but to accept it. And I would like to hit someone with my star power, and I did not. Arr! Well, it looks like we're gonna lose this uh, 3 out of 5 battle here. <laughs> That's kinda sad. Daisy! Daisy! Arr! I just see a character in blue, and I fire my shell, and wow, we're down by 10 points this one. This is terrible. And I guess you can't die if you fall in the center. I just thought I would test that at the last second. So I guess roll down the center all you want, it doesn't matter. Oh, I am sad. Another loss for PK Gam. Oh well. Got the most points up. <laughs> oh, such depression. I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next part when we go to the coin battles. Actually, I didn't get the most coins. The blue team Diddy Kong had the most. Curses! I lost all around.